It's Metallica's acoustic rendition of Metallica's electric rendition of Bob Seger's mother's friend from school's dentist. I'm lost. Anyways, thanks Patreon folks for suggesting and upvoting this song. And if you don't mind, I'd like to take just a moment to thank the newest members of the Craziest Friends Club by name of Bernardo Varela, Casey McDonald, and Adam Garver. Folks, thank you. Very, I've lost my bat. I'm gonna hit the bell with a kazoo. Thank you very much for your support. <laughs> and if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link of course is in the description. Nothing says Metallica like a Gretsch Jim Dandy. <laughs> First thing you gotta know is all of your strings need to go down one half step so E will become E flat or D sharp. A will become A flat or G sharp. D will become D flat or C sharp. G will become G flat or F sharp. B becomes B flat or A sharp. And E, like the other E, becomes E flat or D sharp. Congratulations, you are now tuned one half step down. I'm gonna play E minor with my middle and my ring fingers because check out this move. pinky for that E string third fret. If you use fingers one and two there, it just feels more awkward to me to use my ring finger to grab the E string third fret, but maybe it doesn't for you. Use whatever fingers you want. We're gonna pluck the open E string, hammer on to the third fret, and then hope to pluck the D string. You might hit the A string by accident or the G string. That's okay, but you're supposed to want to pluck the D string. That was the intro. For the verse, we're going to play E minor. You can do that thing if you want. Five. <laughs> D. You can, to your heart's content, on the D. And A. Similarly, you can, on the A. And back to E minor, where they definitely... Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Messed up. That's the verse. For the chorus, the here I am part, it's D. We're switching twice as fast now. E minor. Back to D. Back, back to E minor. Now, D, A, and then C, D. Notice, I didn't play D normal. If my ears aren't deceiving me, what I hear is the situation where you take your C chord and you move it up two frets. That's a D of sorts. It's fancy D. You'll hear that in things. You'll hear it in, you know, Pearl Jam footsteps. But that's a D chord with some fun notes in it. So you can play regular D there. Or fancy D. The softer side of James Hetfield. That's it. Does this mean we get to make a Bob Seger playlist now? I hope so. Leave me some suggestions. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. <laughs>